In this video, we are going to learn about setting socket options. In order to set socket options, we will call a function called set sock opt. So let's go ahead and look at the documentation for this. Set sock opt will take in our socket handle, the level that the option is defined, and then an integer for the option name. The option name must be something that exists within the level that is specified. The last two arguments are for actually setting the value for the socket option. So optval, this is a pointer to the data, and optlength, this is the length of the data that we are setting. There are a lot of socket options, but the one that we will be looking at in particular is at the level for IP protocol TCP, which is what we're working with, and the socket option is called TCP no delay. It says that this is for disabling Nagel's algorithm. Nagel's algorithm is enabled by default, and it is for improving the efficiency of TCP networks by reducing number of packets sent over the network. And the way that this works is, let's say that we try to send a one byte packet. Nagel's algorithm might wait to send that data until we keep trying to send more and have a bigger packet to send at once. We don't want our packets to have any delay when we try to send them. We're not really concerned with the efficiency, but also optimally, we would not be sending small packets like one byte packets or anything like that. However, regardless, we are still going to disable Nagel's algorithm in case we do. We might also want to be able to set some other socket options in the future. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a new header file and have an enumerator for our socket options. What about socket option? I'm going to put this in the pnet namespace. And for now, we are just going to have the TCP no delay option, but in the future, we can add more. Next, let's go to our socket header. We need to make a new function here for setting a socket option. For now, we will just have this be private. And we need to add our new include. So let's generate this definition. You'll notice that I used a bool with capital letters for the value. And the reason that I did this, and we might change this in the future, but anytime I've used set socket operation, it was for a Boolean value, but it doesn't use bool like we're used to. It uses all caps bool, which is actually an integer. And instead of using true and false, we will use true and false, which are meant to be used with this specific type of Boolean. The way that set socket option will work is we're going to have a switch case based off the option that's passed in. And if we get down to default, that means we didn't find it. So we will just return not yet implemented. Otherwise, if we get TCP no delay, then what we are going to do, got to add case in right there. What we are going to do is we are going to first declare an integer to hold the result up here. We're going to say result equals set sock opt. And if we take a look at the documentation, we see that if no error occurs, set sock opt returns zero. So we know that zero is success. If we look back at the parameters, the first argument is the socket handle. So we'll go ahead and pass in the handle for the first argument. The next one is the level. Now, if we go down to the TCP no delay socket option, the level is IP proto TCP. So we're going to pass that in. Next is the operation name. It is TCP no delay. And then the pointer to the operation value, we're just going to pass in the address of value and then the length of that value. So we're going to pass in size of value. Since it expects a const char pointer, we are going to cast that. All right, so now we have our function set up. So we just have to do some error checking here. We'll say if result is not equal to zero, which would be if an error occurred, 
We are going to get the error code with WSA get last error. And then we will just return not yet implemented. Come back to that another time. Otherwise, if we get down here, then it must have been successful. So we will return success. Now what we are going to do is when we create our socket, after we create our socket successfully, we are going to attempt to set the socket option to disable Nagel's algorithm. So we'll do if set socket option, we're going to pass in the TCP no delay option in true. If this is not success, then we are going to return not yet implemented. Otherwise, we'll go down to the success method. Let's go ahead and rebuild this, make sure it all compiles, and see if we get any errors. All right, it compiles. I'm going to set the server to the startup project and run this. All right, and we don't get any errors. Socket is successfully created. So that's great. So now we are able to set socket options. We could always add more options later. In the next video, we are going to implement an IP endpoint class, and it will contain things like uh, an IP address and a port, and we might also get into resolving host names.